guys, Hacks or Tech here for another video, and today I'm really excited for this one because this is a super simple video on how to do something that I actually scavenged Microsoft forums after Microsoft forums, and I couldn't found anyone uh, or find anyone who was able to figure out how to do this. Um, and it's a super simple request um, that there's just not a lot of clarity on how to do it. So what this is is if someone goes in and they download, as you can see here on the screen, they click on the download option. Uh, for example, in their local Outlook client, and they send you an email thread. Say they have an email thread of 50 emails, and they attach it, and they want you to see that email thread. Um, how do you view it in Outlook web? But more specifically, if you have that file already, um, however you get access to it, even if it wasn't from email, um, how can you actually open that? Is there a way to default it when you get those attachments so that you open it in Outlook web instead of having to use local Outlook. And I personally don't use local Outlook because it's really laggy a lot of times. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all, if you didn't know how to do it already, if you click on the dots and you click on the download option in a new email or any email you receive in Outlook for the web, um, you can download the EML file from here. But I'm going to show you how once you actually have that file, how you can access it. So next, all you have to do is simply go to the new mail option to open up a new email um, in Outlook web. And then if you go to the EML file, whether you got it from something someone else sent you or if you downloaded it from the local Outlook client and maybe it's just not working or accessible right now, to use it in web, you simply go into this new email message, drag that EML file or any of those threads that you were given. Um, there's a couple formats, but if you get that email message, even if it's an MSG file, you can do the same thing, drag and drop it into a new uh, email message here in Outlook web. And what you're going to see is it's going to attach the file like this. So you'll see a .email file attached into that new message um, or a .msg file attached into that new message as well. And then all you have to do from here to access the entire contents is click on the preview option. It'll open a new window like this and you can actually see the full contents or you can click on this option in the top right hand corner to expand it and then you'll see full view of the message and you can see the full contents of the email. And that's it. It's a super simple process. The workaround, I'll call it sort of a workaround to do it, is you simply open up a new email message, drop the file as an attachment onto the new message, but don't send it to anyone, preview it and maximize it and you can access the contents. Um, to answer the question, there is no way to default for you to double click on the file and for it to open in Outlook web. However, if you use this method, you can always access the MSG or EML attachments um, through Outlook for web. So you don't have to go in and use Outlook because Outlook sometimes is just not viable or it's laggy or you don't even have it installed. If you're on another device that you want to use this on, then you can do this. Um, you could even potentially make this work on your phone if you're using your email client in a web browser, for example. So let me know what you guys think. I just want to show this quick hack on how to do this. And otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.